Well, hello, it is day 12. This is our final day of our two week focus on praying, uh, approaching God, asking God to reveal things in our life about who we are and what he wants to do through us. I'm Pastor Craig. It's been uh, fun kind of putting this together and I hope that each day that it's challenged you, uh, man, it'd be just great if you were able to perhaps share, uh, send some comments. You can go to the website and send some comments in. Um, just perhaps what God is revealing in your heart about how he wants to use you. Or, man, what am I really, my prayer of this whole two-week process would be that um, if you have never made a disciple, been a part of that process, uh, you know, Jesus and the Holy Spirit do the work of this disciple making, but he invites us into being a part of this. So if you have never had the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody, to walk them through a process of understanding who Jesus is, even to the point where they maybe even ask, hey, I'm, I understand I'm supposed to be baptized. Would you be a part of baptizing me? What, what does that look like? Um, I'm praying that this is uh, sparking that desire in your heart and opening doors for that to be possible. Um, in Douglas County, where we live, you know, wouldn't it be great if every single follower of Jesus uh, this year was able to be a part of helping somebody disciple them from a point of lostness to a point of being found and saved and redeemed uh, through the blood of Christ. Wouldn't that be cool? Every believer just in Douglas County. And then imagine if worldwide what that would look like. And, and then if those disciples would make disciples and we could see uh, the world multiply, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth with believers um, so that no one would perish. That would be really the out pouring uh, the outcome of even a two-week prayer like this that I'd love to see. So today, if you want to grab your Bible, uh, I'm not going to read this. In fact, um, it's Ephesians chapter 3, uh, verses 16 through 19. This is a prayer of the Apostle Paul. Um, and what I would, I'm going to have you do today is I'm going to have you read that as if Paul were praying that specifically over you. Um, read it from a little different perspective. Imagine that you're, uh, you're in, out having coffee or something with the Apostle Paul. How cool would that be? And, uh, and he says, you know, let's just pause. I want to pray something over you. Uh, let this prayer be a prayer over you. And then I would like you to take the list of people that, that you are in relationship with, um, those who are believers and those who are yet to be believers, perhaps, um, and pray that by name over them. Uh, I think there's there's just a powerful prayer here as uh, as the Apostle Paul sort of challenges um, that the Holy Spirit would be at work in us as believers. So I hope that uh, as you come to the conclusion of two weeks of focused prayer, if you missed a day, you know, it's okay. But I hope that you were able to do every single day and take time and that God is revealing things in you that are challenging you and growing a desire to make disciples, to bring glory to God, and to be transformed uh, by the Spirit so that you can be really just like this crazy embodiment of Christ. That where you go, no matter where you go, there is something about you that people want to know more of. They want to know, why do you find joy in this difficult time? Why are you uh, so willing to help even though you don't know me? And why would you give money to help that person? You don't really know them. And why do you invest time with me? And those types of, of, of interactions. Wouldn't it be cool if this process was growing you in a way where you became just this great picture of Jesus. So I hope that is uh, happening in your life. I hope it continues to happen. Uh, that development process doesn't stop until the day we get to enter heaven. Um, I look forward to that day. So uh, thanks for joining this two-week focus. I hope uh, as you read uh, the Apostle Paul's words over you from Ephesians, I hope that you take that to heart. Uh, let that be an encouragement to you. And uh, thank you for taking two weeks of your time and investing it in approaching God and asking him to develop you to be a disciple maker who makes disciples. Thanks for joining us.